Oh, my hearties, a very, very good morning to you and a very warm welcome to Scotty McClure live on the big one. Dinky do, great to have you with us, of course, and uh, let everybody know that you're watching Scotty McClure. You've scrolled, you've never ever trolled, and you've found TikTok's top talk show. So why not just get on there and thoroughly enjoy yourself? That's what it's all about. I say good morning, Scotty, from Sunny Pit Lockery. Hi, B. Dave. You're up early this morning. And, uh, of course, you'll not be opening the shop today, are you? Do tell us more. Uh, let everybody know, dinky do, Scotty. How you doing, Handy? Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome. This is incredible. It's just uh, coming up to six minutes past nine on Sunday, Sunday the 3rd of April, 2022. We like to keep everybody up to date, you see, because, as I say, the time flies so quickly. And you suddenly think, my goodness me. I didn't realize that was last year, you see. So that's why I give you the 2022. Um, how can I phone in, says Kirsty? Kirsty, you can just phone in. The number is across the bottom of the screen. I'll open up the uh, I'll open up the phones for you, and you can give us a call if you would like to do that. The phones are open now. How amazing is that? Fantastic. Oh no, day off today, says Hi, Dave. But up every morning at 6 a.m., you and me both, hi B Dave. That's what it's all about. And I know what you mean. You get into the habit and you think, oh, I'll just get up. It's a lovely day. I hope you've got good weather in Pitlochry. When I started at the theatre in 1981, I always remember um, coming up and we had snow in April, just a flurry, but we had snow in April. So there we are. Uh, you're good. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. And you too as well, Justin. Lovely to have you with us. So if anybody wants to give us a call, feel free. So to do. There you are. I've opened the lines up for you. And there's nothing to stop you coming on and having a wee chat with us. Fantastic. The sun is shining bright in Pitlochry today. It'll be absolutely gorgeous. It'll just be glinting off the tumble there. That's what it's about. What's your favorite movie of all time? Or oh, TSM. This is such a difficult question. Hiya, Scotty. Hi, Kirsty. Lovely to have you with us. This is just such a difficult question. Uh, I think probably the sound of music, just as a like total favorite ever. But uh, a few Sundays ago, I watched Tunes of Glory. Yes, and you can get it on YouTube. It's absolutely outstanding. <clears throat> and um, that's got uh, Alec Guinness, uh, Sir John Mills, Sir Alec Guinness, Sir John Mills, Susanna York, Gordon Jackson, Duncan McRae, just so many stars in the one movie. And um, it's about uh, a Scottish regiment after the Second World War, after all the hostilities were over. So there we are. Good morning, Sir Scotty. Good morning, Darren. How lovely to have you with us and a massive dinky do to you. There we are. Shawshank is mine. Oh, Shawshank Redemption, another of my favorites. You see, I've got so many. I love the Alistair McLean's, the Guns of Navarone, Force 10 from Navarone. You know, all these. When Eight Bells Tolls, another cracker. If you want a real beauty, of course, The Fourth Protocol with Michael Caine. Yes, and, uh, and who else? Ian Richardson, that wonderful Scottish actor. But he's actually, he was originally Scottish, I think, if I remember, Ian Richardson. But, you know, he plays establishment characters. He played uh, the late Blunt, Sir Anthony Blunt, who at the time was the surveyor of the Queen's pictures, and they found out had been a spy. Rangers or Celtic for the win? Oh, I hope both win, Kenny. Uh, what do you think of Dunfermline? We love Dunfermline. Celtic says Glasgow Celtic. Well, with a title like Glasgow Celtic, you're going to hardly shout Rangers, are you? There we are. I'm back, Kirsty. I'm lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do. Uh, do you prefer war movies? I like a good cowboy film. No, no. doesn't have to be war movies. I like a good cowboy film as well. Where Eagles Dare is another of the war movies. And um, The Heroes of Telemark with Kirk Douglas. These are great classics, Colditz, all that stuff, because when I was growing up, 
They were on the telly and a Douglas Bader reach for the sky. Used to be on every Battle of Britain Sunday. Rangers all the way, says Wally J. Absolutely. Please help. Absolutely. No problem at all. We will do everything we can to help you. Uh, was someone trying to question if the Queen should be honoured yesterday, Scotty? They were, Darren. They were pushing the luck a wee bit, I have to say. What do you think the score will be today? Well, William, I mean, obviously I know the score, but if I gave it away, how unpopular would I be with everybody who'd gone to the game? How unpopular would I be with the television companies if I told you the score? Oh, my goodness me. Morning, Scotty. Lala. Good morning, Martin. Lala. So there we are, Dinky. Do I say to you? Uh, now then, who have we got here? How are you all following me as soon as you come on? I can't thank you enough for all your follows. You're thoroughly decent human beings. And of course, if you're on the YouTube, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Very important. 1-1 one, one for today's game. Freddie, don't give it away. Guys, uh, Freddie said 1-1, one, one, but if you don't want to hear that, look away now. And um, so tell me, I can stick a bet on William. No, no, I can't give it away. 3-2 to Rangers, says William. All right. Morning, Scotty. You're brilliant. Kirsty, I thank you very much. You are very, very kind. And it's appreciated. The King of Chat, Scotty. Have you missed me, sir? John Cameron, we've all missed you. So there we are. That's what it's all about, I say. Uh, there we are. Follow us as soon as you can. Very, very busy this morning for a Sunday morning. Do you have a big house, Scotty? More of a bed sit, and I sit on the bed. And then when I'm finished broadcasting, we pop up the, the bed, you see. Uh, morning, morning, Robert. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo. Uh, you're looking dapper. Well, John, I thank you. You're very, very kind. I've got matching tweets on, you see. What an absolute halfwit. How dare they say that, Scotty? What a wonderful woman she is, Darren. The Queen is loved worldwide, as are the royal family. And I know you'll always get critics because they're just so ignorant of the crown. They don't understand. you know. And I understand also way back there were problems uh, as well. There we are. Your badge. Yes, you've got the badge here. Thank you, dear. Uh, this is your morning reminder that you are amazing and you can handle anything today. Nim, Nimuku. What a lovely, lovely thing to say. And did you do? You can handle everything today as well, I say to you. Back up the road today with a Hindu, Robert. You'll absolutely love it. As I say, don't let them get their talons into you. Um, there we go. Encourage more of you. Come and join us. Follow us as soon as you can. And make sure that you follow Scotty McLean on TikTok because this is huge. Guys, I've uploaded so many videos for you on TikTok and on the YouTube channel. And uh, all you TikTokers, get watching the videos, get liking and sharing. That's what it's about. It's only a couple of clicks. Where can I get a flat cap like yours, Scotty? Dean, that we have, uh, I've got so many of them and there's so many different places. Although they're getting fewer and further between. If you see what I just did there, fewer and further between. Uh, it's getting harder to get gentlemen's outfitters that have a, a, a lovely varnished drawer full of flat caps. Uh, so there you are. This one, can you still dab, Scotty? John, of course I can dab. <laughs> I am the master dabber. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Darren. Scotty, where have you been? Steve, I've been here. I've been all around the universe on the TikTok. Fantastic. Lovely, lovely stuff. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. That is so good of you. And thank you for all your generosity for your TikToks. If you've got any spare TikToks, stick them in the fund. Say geezer, says Luke. Luke, why would I say geezer to a geezer like you? Uh, that's karate, Scotty. Uh, there we are. No, 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 no. Are you, are you saying I'm for the chop? There we are. I once got asked out by a lady that did judo. And when she asked me out, she really threw me. You know, it's, uh, it's incredible. I love your content. Love from Hamilton. Maximus, so good to have you with us from Hamilton. Lovely to see everyone. Dinky do on TikTok. Yes, absolutely. Dinky do. He and she. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Where's the party? The party is in the flat round the corner. It always is. You see, there's a lot of lovely parties up there. You say, well, know where I am. 
Oh, no, I know where you are around the corner. Chris Grant is sending me lovely gifts of TikTok. Thank you, guys. If anybody's got any spare ones, chuck them in because they all go into the general fund for the microphone. There we are. We're making shortbread. Oh, John, that will be gorgeous. Cracking show last night. Do you know, Chris, I thought last night was the most outstanding show I've ever done. Last night's internet phone in. It was just amazing. And uh, we had some, somebody came on at the end and went, oh, it was a wee bit dull tonight. Now I thought, no, no, you're a wee bit dull saying that. You know what I mean? Uh, the shortbread will be gorgeous. There'll be a bit of sugar in there, though. 40 TikToks, Chris Grant. You are the kindest man in the world. Guys, have we ever beaten 40 TikToks? Chris, thank you so much. There was a lovely lady who used to come on, and she would give me big numbers of TikToks, all sorts of gifts. She was absolutely incredible. Now, there we are. Emma says hi. Thank you, Martin. Say hi to Emma from me, Scotty McClure. That's what it's all about. We're just doing a nice Sunday pop-up to see who you are. I think we're going to try and... Um, what we're going to try over the next couple of weeks is some random pop-ups, guys. And you can phone in. So we'll do that. Have you ever been to Irvin, Scotty? John, I know Irvin like the back of my hand. Do you know the Butry Hill? Yes, yeah, very nice. And do you know um, the, the old Magnum Center was the one? And Irvin Royal Academy. So that's, I don't know if the Queen pops in to Irvin. Royal Academy, yes, top show last night. You can thank you, because I thought it was. Is your missus making shortbread? I hope so, yes. I'd, I'd rather actually a wee bacon roll, you know. Uh, great phone in last night. Enjoyed talking, Scotty. Richard, last night was brilliant, and you were brilliant. So, you know, don't leave it so long. Feel free to come on, because we get all the top people on the internet are starting to find out about us now. My only problem I've got with the internet is everybody needs to know we're on. And that's where you guys come in. So as I say, get watching the TikTok videos. They're just a lot of fun. Yesterday we did one. I saw a pheasant out the window. And I took a wee picture of him and put him up. And I think 400 of you have had a look. Things like that. You know, it's incredible. Uh, dinky do. Now then, a great phone in last night. Yes, indeed. Can you say, no, I don't say all that. Luke, you say it. If your life's boring, has no substance or materialistic, I'll block you. That's what I do gather, that you're quite right. That's what we will say. Yes, indeed. Fantastic. If anybody comes on in the boring, hail, hail to Robert the Bruce, King Robert of Scotland, laddie. Robster, Bobster, you are 100% correct. Robert the Bruce. Yes, Robert the Bruce. And I've told this story before, but I'll just tell you again. He was on the run. He was being hunted by the English. And he was on the run. And he was in Tarbert in Argyll. And this day, Tarbert Castle is a very important royal residence. And usually the general officer commanding the army in Scotland or the uh, senior officer of the Argyles, is the captain of Tarbot. Yes, and he was uh, running about Tarbot, and he was starving to death. He nearly lost his life. And uh, a lady goat came up and let him suckle her milk. And that kept him living. And he vowed that when he became, uh, when he went back to being king full time, uh, when he wasn't being hunted by the English, he would, um, he would let goats roam free in Scotland. And to this day, goats roam free in Scotland. I was once coming up the road from Coolport uh, in Argyll, and um, there, was, uh, there was wild goats on the road. And I thought, Robert the Bruce, fantastic stuff. Uh, now, what have we got here? I went to Loch Goyle Head, lovely place. Look, I love Loch Goyle Head, but there's only one road in and one road out, and if that got blocked, uh, but I love Loch Goyle Head. Used to um, have a fabulous leisure centre. I think it'll still be there. And um, 
the steamships used to call at Loch Coyle Head. See, the Clyde is missing its steamships. We need to get back to that. I saw a picture yesterday of the Duchess of Hamilton, which was a den. She wasn't Denny's. She was Harland and Wolf. She was uh, the TRSS, triple screw, I think, a Duchess of Hamilton. And she was a turbine steamer. Uh, fantastic. There we are. Jesus loves you. I think so, Pepe. I don't think there's ever been any doubt about that. It's wonderful. Right. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. Never scroll, never troll. You're watching Scotty McClure, uh, the first lord of the internet, hashtag Floatai, the world's top broadcaster, and of course, the world's most humble man, so that you don't suddenly think, is he blowing his trumpet a bit? Is he full of the blah? I don't think so. There we are. I live in the Cromarty Firth area. Do you know Jemimaville, Daddy? Yes. And uh, do you know Dalcross Airport? And do you know uh, do you know the Black Isle? Do you know Och and the Rosmarche and Manlochy? Yes, fantastic. The Black Isle. Beautiful part of the world. Uh, I'll phone in. I, I know it's magic. It's shut down the room. Uh, Kirsty McEntee, Dinky Do, the Cromarty Fifth. Haggis and Tatties, Luke. You can't beat Haggis and Tatties to sustain you. I think that's what's very, very important. Guys, keep your quality comments coming up. If you've got any spare TikToks, you can send them my way. I need to go now. Bye. Robert, you need to go and get the big bus started up. Is she chattering when she starts? Boom, 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 boom. Ready and get nice and warm. So it's probably be quite cold. Uh, so you'll need to get the heater going. I hope you've got one of these seats that bounces up and down. Yes, to save your back. Have a lovely trip, Robert. Lovely having you with us. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you for sending me a cap. Keep mom safe. So good of you. You've just become a top viewer of Scotty McClure. Is that not amazing? We love it. What's going on with the old firm? Well, I don't want to give you the score, but I wonder if we should do away with the old firm and just have Glasgow United. And there should be no rivalry at all between Rangers and Celtic or Celtic Rangers because they're both exactly the same religious background. Exactly the same. There we are. They forget that, don't they? Who's going to win? I can't give that information out. And uh, so there we are. Uh, I would have got a shotgun for the pheasant dinner. No, a pheasant is very beautiful, but I used to applaud when they made it to the trees during a shoot. Can you give a wee shout out to my best mate? I can indeed, Campbell. No bother at all. Uh, a lady goat, that will be my new nickname for the missus. Yes, well, goat, you see, is a compliment because it stands as an anacronym, as an acronym, an anacronym, an anacronym, an as greatest of all time. I thought people on TikTok were calling me a goat as a sort of quasi insult, but it's actually the greatest of all time. We love that. How fantastic is that? Bless you. Wow, that's amazing. I never knew that. Well, there you are, you see. Robster, Bobster, the high road. We love take the high road. I, I nearly got a part in it. I went to see the producer in 1980, and he was very encouraging. He didn't give me the part right enough, but very encouraging. Could you have seen Scotty McLean take the high road? Seriously, goats roam free in Scotland. Imagine they find themselves in the city. Ooh, they're well clear of the city. They're not interested in that. I mean, I can remember when I lived in London, and uh, I just could not get work. Um, and, and it was because I was a shepherd, you see? And I think that's the problem. Uh, now, who else have we got here? Highlander goats. Yes, the big one. Hashtag foot eye. Scotty knows it all. No, we don't know it all, Uricon. We are learning together. This is information, education, and entertainment on a grand scale. So that's what it's all about, I say. Hello from Romania. We love you. What is good morning in Romanian? Laddie. Ah, Robster, Bobster, laddie. I'll tell you where you'll get it, Robster, Bobster. If you watch Tunes of Glory uh, on the YouTube, 
and uh, Jock calls people laddie. Yes, come on, laddie, smile, laddie. You're allowed to do that in the British Army. Uh, favorite childhood memory? Hello from Massachusetts, USA. We love you in Massachusetts, USA. Boston Mass. Fantastic. Lovely. Gorgeous in the fall, I believe, and gorgeous the rest of the year as well. That's it. Boston, Massachusetts. Favorite childhood memory? I think we see we actually never went on holidays. Uh, during the holidays, we went on educational trips. That was what it was about. Educational trips. There we go. I, I have a bouncy seat. <laughs> Excellent, Robert. Save the old back. There we are. What are your pronouns? Poppy. We never bother with any of that on here because we don't need to. Asking somebody their pronouns is divisive. And we never do anything divisive. It's implying people are different. And uh, on here on Scotty McClue Live, people are just people. So your race, your creed, your color, your background, your uh, sexual orientation, your proclivities, uh, you know, whether you're LGBTQ, any of all that doesn't matter because we are people. You see, you can't have racism because there's only one race, the human race. There should be no racism at all. Absolutely. And you would lose any sort of um, color racism if you didn't refer to it all the time. You, you know, you just said, this is Andrew. This is James. This is Ahmed. You know, there we are. That's it. So we don't do any of that on here, Poppy. Uh, I know you're not trying to be divisive. We just don't do it because everybody's equal on Scotty McClue. It's sort of your dream world, you see. There we are. Fantastic. Uh, I know no football team without a religion. Uh, well, what's the religion for Partick Thistle? There we are. Tell me that. Tom, what's the religion for Greenock Morton? There we are. G-O-A-T. Thank you, Fraser. Greatest of all time. Aye, says Robster. Oh, aye, laddie. Robster, Bobster. That's what it's all about, I say. Are you growing a beard or acting the goat? Ha, <laughs> ha. You're a god. There we are. You're a wee billy. <laughs> there we are. You're such a good man. God bless you, Johnny. So are you. You're dead handsome, says Kirsty. Kirsty, nobody's ever said that before. So there we are. Uh, have you been down to Specsavers? What's your favorite chocolate, white milk or dark? Okay. Don't tell him, in case, in case the missus heals. <laughs> Uh, right, did we all get that? Fantastic. Dinky do, lad. Are you watching the football today? I'll maybe drop in on it. Or we might do a live during the game. Uh, you know, although I don't want to pull all the audience away from the football. What's the best city in Scotland? Well, it's it's not the best city because they're just different. They've all every city in Scotland is outstanding. So you've got Glasgow, obviously number one. And then you've got Edinburgh, that happens to be the capital pro tem. Then you've got Dundee, you've got Aberdeen, you've got Inverness, you've got Dunblane, you've got Dunkeld, you've got Perth, the fair city, uh, you know. So uh, you've got all these cities. Is Paisley a city? Did it get city status? You know, but I mean, obviously... All eyes are drawn to Glasgow because, well, you can't beat Glasgow ever. Um, and I heard this week there's a saying in the media, Glasgow loves Scotty McClue. Glasgow loves Scotty McClue. You know, I mean, you can't make it up. Uh, so there we are, fantastic stuff. I going to be the one in Glasgow. I think it's got to be Glasgow, Fraser. Even your Aberdonians, your Dundonians, your Edinburghers, your good burgers of Edinburgh would probably go for Glasgow. Uh, you know, I mean, because it's where everything is. 
Hello, Scotty, you legend. How are you, Sean? What a privilege to have you with us. And a big dinky do from me, Scotty McClue. First thing on a Sunday morning, guys. If you've just joined us and you've scrolled through, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, hashtag Floatai, all in uppercase. And the world's top broadcaster, without question. There we are, your words, not mine. Fantastic. Uh, there we are. When you come to one of Scotty McClure's channels, you become part of a community. Richard, you're 100% correct. This is the community. This is the world's top community because we are one big melting pot for people. It's fantastic. I'm Irish, like in Virginia. That's fantastic. I mean, we are all Irish to a greater or lesser extent. I have to tell you, the United States of Alva in Scotland. Oh, the hills of Alva. I'm just trying to remember how it goes. Love it. Well, I love you. You're a fine man. Well, Kirsty, I think you're a fine lady. Absolutely top lady. Dinky do. Glasgow's the place. That's what it's all about. Wonderful stuff. Glasgow doesn't even know him up the road. Are you completely, completely from another planet? Glasgow doesn't know Scotty McClue. I will and ask somebody and then come back and swallow all your words and apologize and say, Scotty, I am so sorry. It was just my ignorance. I didn't realize you were one of Glasgow's sons and perhaps one of the greatest. They were going to call Glasgow Airport Scotty McClue International. For goodness sake. Up the road, you are needing some serious education. Geodog, good morning, Sir Scotty. Good morning, Geodog in South Africa. Geodog, are you having a bray? Do you have a breakfast bray, Geodog? There we are, tremendous stuff. Are you just going into the winter? Good morning. Good morning to you, Julianne Dinky Do. A lovely job with us. Russell, thank you for sharing. Can everybody follow Scotty McClure? I've got 3,200 likes. Is Glasgow dangerous, as everyone says? Glasgow's not dangerous at all. You have some poor souls who have managed to hook themselves on illegal substance, probably because it's illegal. And, uh, you know, they've they've fallen for that old trick, uh, you know, that old chestnut. And you've got to uh, you have quite a lot of alcohol consumed in Glasgow. I mean, there's still a fair bit. But it's changed. And Glasgow, when I was young, was quite a, a dirty city in that all the factories and the houses were spewing out coal smoke. And you could get quite bad smogs and fogs in Glasgow. That's all changed. And all the buildings had been blackened during the war, so the bombers couldn't see them. And that's all changed. Everything's clean in Glasgow. And it's just an outstanding city, a city for all times. A fifth of the city is parkland. There we are. It's just beautiful. So anywhere I think is dangerous if you've got lunatics who the balance of the mind is disturbed. And you'll get that anywhere in the world. It only takes one lunatic. Look at these poor souls in London. That, uh, that get murdered with one lunatic, you know, and all over, uh, all over the world, one lunatic. Aha, pal, Kirsty, thank you very much. Up the road, doing the swanee with you, Geodog, I think we should dump up the road. But then again, he's obviously very, very ignorant. And maybe we should leave him to get an education watching Scotty McClure. And he could ask some people in Glasgow, if you say, have you ever heard of Scotty McClure? Oh, I, I, I watch Scotty all the time. You know, so that's that. You get that anywhere in the world. Yes, sir. Uh, but we'll stay away from the spaghetti. Or oh, don't put the spaghetti on the brine. What would happen? Would it go up? Would it go up like petrol, Geodog? Like the rice. And you said, did you say you can't put an egg on the brine? Uh, that was an interesting one. Family name is Girvin from Mabel. Julian. Absolutely, yes, a wonderful name. Uh, and of course, a great Ayrshire name. There we are. My grandmother was a, uh, my great grandmother was a hunter from Ayrshire. 
hunter from Hunterston, and uh, her family were the hunters of the Hunterian Museum, the, the Museum of Anatomy in Glasgow University. That wonderful museum of medicine. I've consumed the alcohol. Kirsty, we all have in our time. McClure used to take a light refreshment. You know, that sort of idea. Uh, but uh, no, it's it's not good. I give it up. I bet money if you asked anyone in Glasgow the know Scotty around 100% do. Unicorn, I would think so. What's your name? Scotty McClure, Kate. Capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. That's the Scotty. Then a space, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. That's the McClue. There we are. It means son of a person with a clue. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. We need to get lots and lots and lots of followers. That's what it's about, big style. Down the Swanee with them, Jerry. The old wind-ups were brilliant. Ah, Jimmy, we keep them going, don't we? We keep them going. What's the Royal House of Scotland, the name? Vanilla. The Royal House of Scotland is the House of Windsor. So there we are. That's the Royal House of Scotland. If you go back, of course, you'll get the Stuarts. Educating them will take a long time, Sir Scotty. Well, Geodog, you do have a point, as always. You're an absolute top man. And I can't thank you enough for all your information and advice on uh, what my father would have been up to with the parachuting and all these. I, you know, I've had that photo all my life and I've never seen close enough the huge lineup of aircraft. So Geodog, as you so rightly said, on the 9th of May, 1945, the um, Paris would have been dropped from the Dakotas, from the, no, no, the Sky Train. Uh, the, was it the C1, did we say, the Sky Train? They would have been dropped from the Sky Train and they would have uh, probably had a firefight to secure the airport. And then once the airport was secured the next day, all the Dakotas landed to take them out. Would that be right? I must look into it more. Perhaps there's still somebody living that can remember it. 1945, there we are, Stavanger in Norway. I think if you're known here in Belfast, you'll certainly be known in Glasgow. Absolutely, Richard. Of course I am. That's like the lovely, uh, lovely story of the late Sir Ian Paisley. It's a bit of a joke, actually. The late Dr. Paisley. And um, he, he, he walked into a, a tailor. Somebody gave him a length of cloth. And he said, can you make me a suit? And he said, Dr. Paisley, I'd be just be lucky to get a jacket out of this cloth. He said, oh, leave it. I'm going over to Glasgow. So I went to Glasgow. He walked into the tailors in Glasgow. He said, can you make me a suit? And the tailor said, yes, sir, Dr. Paisley. I'll make you a lovely three-piece suit and maybe even a spare pair of trousers. And he said, when I was in Belfast speaking to the tailor, he said he couldn't make me a suit. And you're saying you can make me a suit and spare trousers? He says, yes, but Dr. Paisley, you're not quite as big a man in Glasgow as you are in Belfast. Isn't that lovely? Uh, well, I think you're known here in Belfast. We're known all over the world. Do you know, two billion people have heard of Scotty McClure. And the only person that I've ever heard of that doesn't know me is that dafty that came on there. Hunters are in the Girvan family line as well. Excellent, Julia. Are you watching the old firm, Scotty? Sometimes if it's an old firm game, I go along early to the ground because there's a fair chance I'll get a game. You know, absolutely. Scotty, I disagree with you about the Queen. She's a dangerous woman, PK. Nothing dangerous about the Queen. The crown is our symbol of authority and she's the curator and custodian. So there you have it. Down the hatch with the roasties, absolutely. Uh, Kirsty has shared the video. Uh, yes, one could do eggs on a braai with a special pan. Ah, so you'd pop the pan on. So is the braai got a big set of bars on it then? And you would sit pans on the braai. So could you not do a bit of oil and a bit of fried rice in a pan? There we are. 
Uh, will Scotland become independent? Do you want Scotland to be independent? Well, I, I'm not really political. I'm apolitical. But as an academic, I would say that from an economic point of view, Scotland would do very, very well on its own, building up its fund, you see, and rebuilding its economy after 313 years. You know, or in fact, this year, it'll be 314 years. So we need to rebuild the Scottish economy, which had to be seriously devalued in the middle of a recession to facilitate economic um, economic assimilation with England. You know, so that, that was the problem. Uh, make the roasties into toasties. Doom the swanny with these idiots. Yes, do you want bottle with that toast? My granny used to have a telly that took 20 P pieces. Imagine the young ones living like that. They're now Jamie Stewart. I remember buying a telly from the ex hire shop and a video recorder. And I said to him, Do you think I'll get a year out of this? And he said, That you'll get 10 years out of. I got 20 years out of it. And then one day I was watching it and there was just a puff of smoke and it went zzz, zzz. That's what the telly did. A wee puff of smoke came out the back and it went zzz. And that was the end of that telly. <laughs> and it had moved house about six times. Absolutely correct. So the paras in essence are shock troops. So would they have the element of surprise and uh, combat and all that stuff then? And just get in there and da 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 end of and then get a surrender and then guide in the planes and um, they would take them out. Incredible stuff. And I would imagine there would be guards in some of the aircraft that landed to look after the airport and maintain that. Yes, indeed. Four and a half thousand guys. Where's the dog? Sadly, user 329, the dog weak lied is no longer with us. He passed away at 14 and a half and he's now at Rainbow Bridge with old Lord Reith and they'll be running about with everyone else's dog and they will bring happiness, these dogs. This Saturday, we have a huge Scottish pipe band gathering. So I'll be wearing my Glen Gary. Do, Geo Dog, you would make a great chieftain. Scotty McClure's been the chieftain and they play chieftain salute on the platform and you come to the salute and they play healing laddie through twice uh, yes sir i can do i'll treat you to a real bush bry thank you geo dog i would love that she's a lovely queen i'm american and i believe she's awesome well do you know america uh, when they got independence in 1776 did not actually want a republic they wanted Bonnie Prince Charlie, Charles Edward Stuart, to sit on the throne of America and be America's king. But two things come into play. One, he said he felt he was too old. He died in 1786. He was quite ill with gout and he was taking a refreshment. And uh, he's buried in the Vatican, King Carlos. You'll see his, his tomb in the Vatican, and I think the late Queen Mother actually paid to do his tomb up. Isn't that lovely? The king across the water. Yes, indeed. Uh, Glasgow tonic, dinky do cheese, bit of cheese. Once the queen dies, the UK will abolish the monarchy. Who said that? Pinky. I have never, ever, 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 ever heard so much rubbish in all my life. Un founded nonsense the monarchy is actually older than scotland and you can trace it back to the old celtic kings the ancestors of re the royal one re hence le roi in french or royal rex regina and uh, it actually goes back 2347 years so how on earth can somebody like you with an IQ of around one 
tell me that we would ever abolish the monarchy. The monarchy are the curators and custodians of the crown. The crown is our symbol of authority. So can we please have no more silliness? So when Her Majesty does pass away, then the king will take over. There we are. Uh, so that's that. And everybody adores the queen. And the crown, as I say, is our symbol of authority. And even the four countries we've united as a kingdom. And at the moment, the monarch is the monarch of Britain. But apolitical, you know, not connected at all. Union of the crowns when Scotland took over the English crown and combined it with the Scottish crown in 1603. So let's be accurate about our history. The modern Scottish monarchy was Kenneth MacAlpin, and I think was at 936, and he was crowned at Fort Dunad in Argyll, near between uh, Loch Gilpin and Kilmartin. There we are. I'm the real Justin. I just have a new username, not at all vanilla. Uh, I'm from Mississippi, remember, vanilla, absolutely. Paras are a huge shock value. Often the enemy withdraw just knowing they have to deal with them. Yes, well, I think that's it. They see them arrive and think, oh, no, not the Paris. Um, I played a game of football on Friday and I had a whole team in my back pocket. There we are. Uh, communists love to abolish things. Yes, we don't want communism. There's a kind of move afoot to make the world more communist. And we have to really go for that one and uh, push that out there we are scotty i've just woken kareem i'm so glad to hear that because you were needing a good night's sleep and i'm delighted that you've just woken and we've had the most fantastic show we came on about uh, five past nine i think it just turned six minutes past nine when we came on kareem thank you for sending me lovely gifts uh so there we are now i played a game of football on friday and I had the whole team in my back pocket. Yes, indeed, was it uh, was it Sabutio? There we are. Now, what have we got? Greetings from the Netherlands, Scotty. Ah, ja, kamenta hus, wiltjan kupati heben. I'm winning mein klumpen. A IQ of one. Sorry, you're giving me a credit. Well, you've got to you've got to start somewhere, Geodog. You can't all be brilliant like you and I. Woo! See what I just did there? How good is that? You're well informed. Andrew, I do my best. I have to be well informed. Remember, I had to be educated and formed and, and do the entertaining before there was any internet. So this would have been impossible. Incredible stuff. So share everything, guys. Spend your day sharing Scotty McClue, watching Scotty McClue on TikTok. Have it just beside you when you're watching the football and there's not much happening. Another wee look at a Scotty McClue TikTok video. Fantastic stuff. Thank you for my mini speakers as well. So good of you all. There we are. Uh, Kareem sent me a football, tennis ball, uh, a GG, a mini speaker, weights, a wishing bottle. Uh, and he sent me April. We love that. Your IQ must be 5,000, Scotty. I can tell you my IQ. It's 164 at the last test because we were interested. Because if you look at language, so much of English has got Latin in it. And there's an organization that will test your IQ, and they're called Mensa. And people used to say, yes, yes, no, he's he's not quite Mensa. And uh, that sort of stuff. Mensa was testing the IQ. And Mensa, of course, as you will all know, is Latin for table. So Mensa, you would sit around the table. And those of you who tell me that you don't speak Latin, I don't believe you. Because right now, you're watching a video. And video is just video I see in Latin. From vid to see, vide to see. Yes, I came, I saw, I conquered. Vene, vide, vici. 
the Romans. I came, I saw, I conquered. Is Scottish more of a language or an accent? Scottish is several languages. So you've got La Land, you've got Old Scots from the Mackers, you've got uh, Doric, Feheberdeen, Takana Doric, they speak a Doric, and they are sort of versions of English, uh, but they are Old Scots, you see. So, but you do also have a number of Scottish accents. So you would have Aberdeen, a Scottish accent, Dindy Ken Pays, Imstirin. So that's a different accent altogether. You would have uh, Doon the Borders and in Tiberic and Tweed and that kind of stuff. You would have um, a Highland, Highland accent as you go up the West Coast. And then you'd get accents from Shetland, where we're talking a while uh, like that. Mensa means mind in Latin. Uh, I think it also means table. So maybe you took the mind to the table, you see. Uh, there we are. Because I remember Churchill being pulled up for Omen Sa. When would you use Omen Sa in Latin? And uh, Churchill said he didn't know. And the Latin master said you would use it when talking to a table. So there we are. So fantastic. Uh, did you know that Latin does not come from Latin America? No, Latin America probably originally comes from Latin because is it not originally a lot of Spanish in Latin America? Can you speak all English like Middle Age English? I can, Vanilla. I can speak that sort of accent which would be around when Shakespeare was doing his plays. All for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention. A kingdom for a stage, princes to act and monarchs to behold, the swelling scene. So there you are. So there's the kind of language you'd have got at the globe in uh, the 1500s. Uh, that sort of idea, 1400s. Scotty, thank you, dear. There was a great phone in last night, Scotty, my man, Lala. Love you, Scotty. You too, Martin. Last night was probably uh, the finest show we've done to date. And that's why I want you all to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10. Get the word round there. Guys, we've only got two minutes left. And then we have to dash. It's been an absolute blast being with you this morning. Loved every second of it. And I shall check up Mensa for the mind as well. Uh, I think you're, I mean, you're absolutely right. But we need to check about the table connection. Anybody that speaks Latin, do come on and tell us. Anyone that's going to Latin for their holidays, do come on and tell us. Uh, sorry, I couldn't make it last night. Patrick and Bara. Fauci, Fauci, Kida, Mili, Fauci, Don. TikTok, I guess. Scotchak, Makluach. That's what it's about, I say. You know I'm right, so you avoid my comments. Pinky. Nobody's avoided your comments. We discussed it because we know you're very much not right. There you are. We've discussed it. Have you had many girlfriends, Scotty? Um, oh, one or two. Uh, well, I'll need to make up my mind. What time was it? One or two. Stay safe, Scotty. And you, Kareem, take great care of your dear self. Uh, lovely, lovely to have you with us. What a fantastic broadcast this morning. Uh, who else have we got? Patrick is there in the island of Barra. Yes, no, it was wonderful last night, Patrick, but you should get it on the YouTube channel. So you just go on into your search engine, put Scotty McClure, the internet phone in, YouTube, and then subscribe to the channel. And you should be able to see um, there will be an upload there of the broadcast from last night. How good is that? Fantastic stuff. Right, Celtic v Rangers predictions. Patrick, I can't give you the score. The television companies would be furious. Stick your tongue out and say ta-ta. Absolutely, Darren. That's it. We're going to have to dash, my dears. Take great care of yourselves. Thank you so much for watching. Look at every Scotty McClue TikTok and follow me. Those of you who haven't followed, just click follow the host. 
What's the problem with that? To every single one of you, have a gorgeous morning. We'll catch up soon. Set your notifications on TikTok and on YouTube. Say, let me know when Scotty McClue goes live because we're going to be doing a lot of random pop-ups over the next two weeks. Thank you for my gifts, Richard. So good of you. And Pinky has been told we've already discussed it. And there is no argument. The monarchy will always be with us. Dinky do loves, turn on out, stick out your tongues and say, ta ta, ta ta. Take care, so Scotty. What a tremendous man. You too, Darren. You are a champ. Right? That's our beautiful TikTokers I've had to go. And uh, for our lovely, lovely, lovely uh, YouTubers that we've got left, it's incredible. I forgot you were all there last week. And I put the light out and I was checking something on the device. Uh, just wonderful stuff. So make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel and to the Facebook and to the LinkedIn. Guys, you can actually follow me on LinkedIn if you're a business person and you're wanting voiceovers done or uh, or things done like that, let me know what is what, because this is huge. It will take a little bit of time, but it's building and building and building, and you can't beat that. Uh, have a lovely, lovely day from me, Scotty McClure, to every single one of you. Ta-ra-las! Dinky-doo!